Hi, I'm Matt from Reason Digital. So, artificial intelligence, or AI. Uh, there's a lot of talk about AI at the moment, and uh, there's a lot of confusion surrounding it as well. So, a lot of times people mix AI up with chatbots and online chat systems, and whilst AI can sometimes be used to power those, quite often those are just programmed by human beings, and that's not AI at all. Uh, there's some really great examples of AI for good and charities using AI, and I'm going to talk to you about three things that AI is really good for and three things that it's really bad at that might help you think about how you can use it at your charity. So, number one is spotting patterns. Uh, companies like XRapid are able to uh, use AI to spot patterns in images, and they've actually made it possible for uh, an iPhone to identify the signs of malaria from a blood sample way quicker and way more accurately than a human being can. Uh, that pattern matching also uh, applies to other stuff as well. So Crisis Text Line, a peer-to-peer -peer crisis service in the US, has used AI to discover that people that use the term ibuprofen in their messages are 16 times more likely to be suicidal than people that use the word suicide itself. So those patterns are things that maybe human beings wouldn't have recognized, and that's, uh, that's what AI is great at, doing that quickly and spotting those patterns. Um, it's also great at personalization. It's great at saying people that like this sort of music also seem to like this sort of music, and that can be really useful for charities as well who are trying to surface personalized content, research, recommendations to different audiences. Lastly, AI is really good at trying out different solutions to problems and recently Parkinson's UK won the benevolent AI grant to apply AI to see how old existing drugs might be used in new ways to, uh, to try and combat Parkinson's or to ease the symptoms of Parkinson's. So what's AI bad at? Well, AI is bad at true intelligence. AI just learns from things and spots patterns. It doesn't really know why things are happening. It just knows that when you see this, you often see that. And that can mean that results can sometimes be a little odd and a little out of kilter. It's also really bad at pretending to be a human being. So, you know, you may have heard of Microsoft's uh, experiment with Tay, the Twitter uh, AI. Uh, and, 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 you know, obviously that went very wrong because of uh, what it learned from the internet uh, attempts to make AI pretend to be human uh, often end in failure. The, the other thing that it's bad at is uh, ironically introducing some of the biases that human beings have into certain systems and processes. So uh, in the US uh, some courts use AI to understand what the risk is of releasing somebody on bail and it's actually been shown that some of those uh, systems uh, have introduced racial bias and that's simply because the AI has learned from existing patterns uh, and therefore it has learned the existing biases of the human being before it. So there's three things that AI is great at, three things AI is bad at. If you want to hear more about AI in a charity context, then come and see me talk about it at the Charity Digital Conference on the 29th of June in London. Hopefully see you there.